Hi, my name is Tyrell Pogemeyer, and today I'm going to be talking with you uh, about some basic pitching mechanics and also some grips that you can use for your younger athletes, your guys that are just starting out playing baseball and really wanting to get into pitching. Just some of the basic mechanics that they should be going through that will help them you know, reduce uh, stress on their arms and hopefully provide their, allow them to be more successful. So first we're going to start out with uh, just some basic grips on your baseball. So to start out, uh, we have our four seam grip. I don't know if you can see that, but so we call it a four seam because when you hold it across the seams right here, when you throw it, you're going to see four seams. So you got one, two, three, and four. And what's really great about this pitch is that it is the most accurate pitch that you can throw. So when you're um, showing your kids how to throw a baseball, this is one of the best grips that you can show them because it's going to be the straightest and it'll actually uh, eventually be one of the hardest pitches you can throw. Uh, next we're going to show you a two seam grip and the two seam is right here on these two seams. Uh, a lot of guys will actually turn it and throw their two seam like this. It's kind of a personal preference. The two seam pitch will move more. For righties it will move down and in to a righty and for lefties it will move down and away from them. And uh, this will move a lot more. It's just a personal preference on whatever you'd like to um, throw. So next we're going to get into our basic pitching mechanics. And I'm just going to go through the windup today and show you just the basic seven step program that we got here that'll, um, that if you follow it, it'll be, it'll throw real, real well. All right. So first is we have our setup. So when we set up on the mound, a lot of kids, they want to stand on the top of the rubber. You don't need to do this because what they end up doing is when they get into their pivot, they end up standing right here. What we want to do is have their foot in front of the rubber. So what I like to do is just have my kids put their heels on the rubber so they can feel it. So they got most of their feet are on the dirt and then the back's on the rubber. All right, so your, your setup is about feet are about shoulder width apart. It's going to be nice and comfortable. It doesn't have to be real wide. Some guys you watch in the majors are going to be off to one side or the other. We're just going to stay right on the rubber, have our feet shoulder width apart and nice and comfortable. Their hands can be wherever they'd like. They can be out in front. Personally, I always like to have one hand down by my side and my glove up on my chest. It's a personal preference. We want them to be comfortable when they're starting out. All right, so this is what we're going to call our setup. So for our setup, we're going to go right here, hands in front. Now the next step is our pivot, or our rocker step. So our rocker step is just a slight little movement. This is going to get your, um, get your motion going. So it can be forwards, it can be backwards. What we really want to try and do, a lot of little guys, I don't know why, but for some reason they think that they got to step way back here. And what that does, it's going to move your head, and by moving your head, you're going to move your um, eye side up and down, which is going to move the catcher's glove up and down. We want to keep that catcher's glove in one spot. So what we're going to do is just a nice little easy step, forwards or backwards. Personally, I like forwards. It's nice and easy, and it doesn't move you too much. It's just a little bit of something to get you going. The next step is what we call our pivot. So that's with our right foot for you righties. And we pivot, we turn, and we place our foot right next to the rubber. And this is just getting us into our low position. All right, so we got our rocker step, and then our pivot. And then our next step is one of the most important steps in baseball, hitting-wise, fielding-wise, or pitching-wise, is our balance. So we got to come to our balance point. And our balance point, if you get your kids, you should be able to have them sit here and hold it for at least five seconds. Alright, so when we're in our balance, we have a couple things that we're looking for. Is we don't want a completely straight leg in the back. Here, I'll turn this way so you can see it a little bit better. We don't want a completely straight leg. We can have a little bit of a bend in our back leg. And one thing that's really important, let you go this way, you can see, is in our front leg, we don't want it to be, we don't want this toe, we don't want any tension in this leg. Because tension will cause you to open your hips up a little bit too soon. And that'll cause arm drag, and we don't want that. So we can have almost point your toe down when you come up. Just nice and relaxed, pointed towards the ground. A lot of no tension in this leg at all. And make sure you have good balance here. If kids can't stand here like this, a good drill is just to have them come up, get set, and stand for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever you like them to, like them to do. All right, so we're going to go through our steps again. First, we got our setup. Then we got our rocker step. Then we got our pivot, and then we got our balance. Now the next step is really important as well. We're going to call this our hand separation. So our hand separation is when this leg's coming down and we're getting that ball out of our glove. Now it's really important, always, 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 if you can get your hand out of your glove, the sooner the better. 
because the later it comes out, then your body has to catch up and that's going to create some arm drag because your shoulders are going to be flying open and your elbow is going to be dropping. We don't want that. We want to stay on top of the baseball. So this next step, hand separation. So we're up in our, up in our balance point and it's just right here. Nice and simple. My foot is touching the ground right now. If you do this in slow motion, you're actually pitching. Your foot won't, won't be hitting the ground. You'll be getting into your, our next step, which is going to be our power T. So our power T, this is where all, we see this, we got our balance. We're nice and balanced. We're moving down the mound. We're not over our front leg. We're not over our back leg. We're right in the middle of our feet. We got an equal opposite here. Guys can be up this way. Guys can be shoulders even. A lot of guys are really bowed in the shoulders. Some of those real hard throwers, you'll see that. It's whatever's comfortable for you. Everybody's gonna have their little bit different style. But we want our glove and our hand to be equal and opposite. That's really important. All right, and then we got this right here. This is what we call our trigger foot. Really similar to hitting when you're squishing the bug. This is gonna trigger everything. So when we get into this power T position, our trigger foot's gonna turn in and this is what initiates everything. So this is gonna get onto our next step here, which is our release point. So we're in our power T and then trigger foot and then this is going to bring everything into our release point. And now what's really important for this is when we keep our shoulder in as long as possible. So we're driving that shoulder at our catcher's glove and we bring our glove hand, if you're righty or lefty, doesn't matter, our glove hand is going to come into our body. We don't want to swing it out because when we swing it out we're going to cause our upper body to ro rotate and that's going to drop our arm and cause a lot of tension and it's a great way to hurt your arm. We don't want to do that. So. We're in our power T again. We're gonna take our glove hand. It's gonna pull in to our side. And we're gonna get out here. Oop, going over. We're gonna get out here into our release point. And what we wanna do here is we wanna make sure that we're in line with our toes. This is when we get down, when we get down into our, after our stride, we wanna make sure our feet are in line. We don't wanna close ourselves off too much because then our hips can't open up. And we don't wanna to be too far out here in an open stance because then our hips are open too much and there's a tendency to over rotate and that'll cause arm drag as well. So we want to be as close to parallel as we can and when we are in our release point we want to be able to look down. If you can look down and you can draw a line down the inside or the outside of your foot straight into the ground that's what we're looking for. We don't want to have any tilt to the side because when we tilt to the side that's going to be moving the glove we're going to be, there's a tendency to drop your arm angle as well. We want to try and stay up and over our front leg as much as possible. And we're going to be throwing that baseball way out in front. We don't want to be throwing it back here. We want to try and get it out as front as much as possible. This is going to allow for a, um, a much more consistent release point. And that's what we want because we want to be able to hit our spots as pitchers. All right, and then the next step is just your finish and your follow through. So you finish, you throw it, you fall through, and you get into your fielder stance because what we become after we pitch the ball is just another fielder. We gotta be really ready to go right or left if there's a bunt, um, a little dink hit, whatever. So we'll go through every step just one more time just so you can kind of see it in slow motion. So we got our setup, rocker, pivot, balance, hand separation, power T, release point and finish. And if you can go through these steps, um, it's really, really important to practice each one over and over and over again. Um, we do it here. We have kids come in for a couple hours at a time and we'll just go over and over and over. And I know it's really, it's really not fun to do, but that's what baseball is. It's repetition, repetition, repetition. You want to get better at something, you got to practice it. Just the same as hitting, just the same as fielding. It's just got to be over and over and over again. And just if you can follow these steps and do them correctly, then you're gonna have success. So thank you, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I was kinda talking fast sometimes. Hope you understood it all and come back again, thank you.